My name is Safina Martelli. I'm the Resiliency Programs Manager at Worlds Relief Seattle. The beautiful thing about this particular garden is where it's located. Um, many of the people in this community, uh, especially refugee immigrant communities, wanted a place where they could grow food. They wanted a place that they could get their hands in the soil and it would make them feel at home because that's what's familiar. Even if you're displaced from home, your hand in the soil, you know that. People miss that. As a person who is displaced myself, I came from Bangladesh and that's one of the things I missed is having a place to grow food or to plant flowers, to have my hands in the soil. And if you live in an apartment complex, you're disconnected from the land, you're disconnected from the soil, and you feel separated. And it also affects your mental health and your sense of community. So a place to grow food, connect with neighbors, and share stories is so important. This particular garden was carved out of a one acre asphalted parking lot right in the middle of Kent, Washington. And the beautiful thing about it is it's a way to solve more than one problem. This was a major area because it's on a hillside um, for water quality issues. It flooded regularly, a huge area where it would, um, stormwater would collect and polluted stormwater would enter right into Mill Creek, into the Green River, straight into the Duwamish, affecting our salmon and our orca. And so we have put in rain gardens, bioswales, rainwater capture systems, all of those together, this has become a thriving green stormwater infrastructure site. So we're solving so many problems in the same place. People have a chance to grow food, build community, and we get to affect our watershed. I'm trying to find one a little bit older so you have some the tiny little spine sticking out of it. These again, you can't find in any local grocery store. Uh, Nepali and Bhutanese people call this tukruke. They're wonderful, very tasty, highly nutritious, difficult to find anywhere, but easy to grow in a garden. Um, when you're a newcomer in this country and you're holding down more than one job, it's hard to know how do you affect climate change? How do you understand it, learn about it? What do you do in your personal life? What's beautiful about this garden is because you're growing food, building community in a space where you're actively um, working and capturing rainwater, where you're actively working with rain gardens and a bioswale and a food forest, you're learning about the solutions to climate change, how it affects the watershed in easily understandable, digestible ways so that it's not such a broad concept. And you're able to figure out, no matter what your language is, how it is that you can affect change in big and little ways into your own community, into your own watershed. That's what's really beautiful about it.